For over a decade, Ghanaian farmers and traders have gone through thick and thin to find a lasting solution to their food preservation challenges. This has compelled most farmers and traders to adopt various unapproved and unhealthy approaches to preserve their produce before they get to the final consumer. Due to the high cost that accompanies modern food preservation methods, majority of the food staff are left to rot on the shelves. The situation has also caused some Ghanaian farm produce to be rejected by the international market. Some yam traders at Agona Trade Group disclosed that it is difficult to make profit or break even when their stocks go bad. Yam buying was be far. What's your pro? No what also. Say see, I'm maybe I told me they sold three million. Three years in me, who no pon my Jimiska buying a proper. If you bring your chi, January, February, March, April. See see, I'm buying me a pro. By every February, March, April, May, no corner did not say crying. This was over buying. Some maize sellers could not hold back their worries. Mbwani didim, mbwana ya di tramon, watu mi didi mama, e brono, wode wansak miya demokra, bonde ato. Inti se eto mi dama wade ya mbwala nuswa, e nyede. Inti etu mi maya bokao. This development led to the partnership between the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, GAEC, and the Agona West Municipal Assembly to establish a gamma irradiation center within the municipality in order to reduce poverty. The facility will help to preserve various food crops such as cereals and tubers including yam, cassava, cocoa yam, beans, maize and other root crops including ginger among others. The municipal chief executive of Agona West Municipality, Samuel Opong, explained the need for a timely intervention to address food preservation challenges. Yeah, people want a very safe way of making sure that they can go about their business. So the motivation is that we want to have a technology that can help our people to store their, their produce for a longer time, uh, so that in the periods of glut, uh, they have a hope that uh, they can still keep their things until the prices are okay, so that at least they can make profits. The Director General of GAEC, Professor Benjamin Nyako, explains how beneficial the facility will be to the Municipal Assembly. To, to make sure that throughout the whole year, we have food available. Uh, not that during the uh, harvest season we have enough food, and then we cannot store it, and at a certain time, all of them go bad and food prices goes, goes up. And then it will give the farmers and then the, the sellers uh, more income than before and reducing poverty. The facility will be run under the management and expertise of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission.